morning and welcome to my shower routine. Now this is a very stylized version of what I would typically do in here, along with some things that I just do some of the times. We're about to shower, but one of the most important things that you need to do is to turn that mother water temperature down because y'all are taking showers in way too hot water. People of color, we're already suffering from trans epidermal water loss. That hot water is going to zap your skin and, and just make it even worse. Why do it to yourself? So turn the water temperature down. Now for me, not every shower is the same because sometimes, you know, I gotta hurry up and do quick. And sometimes I might have a little time to luxuriate, set the ambiance, like a candle, you know, all that other stuff. But typically I will go in with my Dove Beauty Bar. This is a good compromise for me because it smells great, but it doesn't have a bunch of irritating ingredients in it that are gonna dry out my skin. So, I love this. Now, showers, I feel, can have a lot of like cultural practices in them. I feel like a lot of us can have similar shower routines, but you know, things can change from, you know, culture to culture. Um, but usually what I do with the Dove Bar Soap is I kind of do like a quick preliminary, you know, hit the, the body parts, you know, make sure I get my privates, I'll get my washcloth and, you know, get, you know, just get to the places where they need to get. Um, really quickly and typically on a day when I'm like rushing that's pretty much my shower routine you know the in shower routine because then we do other things once we get out now because my hair stays braided up a lot I typically do my shower you know with no with nothing on my head that way the steam from the water can kind of get in and just give my hair that nice added moisture um, but my braids look a little tore up so because <laughs> I did it myself so this it is. Now sometimes I'll hit my body with an Aveeno or maybe even a Dove body wash. Typically something for dry skin, particularly in the winter time because that's when my skin gets the driest. So my skin on my face is oily, but the skin on my body tends to be pretty dry. And sometimes just for like a little bit of gentle exfoliation, I'll take the body wash and I'll put it on a body brush. This one's from Eco Tools. I got it in PR, but I think it's like, I don't know, maybe like three, four, or five bucks at the um, drug stores. But sometimes I'll get like a little gentle exfoliation action going on. I just get like a really nice, gentle exfoliation, something that's not gonna dry out my skin because I already said that as people of color, we tend to suffer from trans epidermal water loss, which basically means that our skin has a hard time um, keeping hydration in, particularly the body skin. Stuff like indoor heating, hot showers, this is lukewarm baby. <laughs> and you see I ain't dead, so you can take a lukewarm shower. Um, things like, like I said, indoor heating, hot water. Um, sometimes even your air conditioning sometimes can um, actually add to your trans epidermal water loss. So, you can't pull out these streets, y'all. You can't pull out any streets. Now, I do have some, um, these like scrubbing towels. I don't have any more, so I'll put a picture up and I'll link them below. But like, if you want to get to your back, some towels that you can use to kind of like, you know, they kind of look like a netty. I can't remember where I got it from, but I'll link it below so you can check it out. And then I would say maybe like once or twice a week, at the most three times a week, I'll go in with this Mario Badescu AHA body soap. Um, so essentially this is like a chemical exfoliant for the body. Now to save time, I do tend to wash my face in the shower, but I turn the water temperature down because the body can sometimes take a temperature that's a little bit higher than what the face can take, but we're here at lukewarm anyway. It's so much easier for me to wash my face in the shower because I can be just as as I want to be <laughs> without having to worry about splashing, oh well, I'm splashing stuff, but I'm splashing it in the right place. Um, in the evenings, I tend to shower again, um, especially if I've been out. If I've just been sitting around the house, I'll probably just do my nighttime routine at the sink and go to bed. But if I've been out, I do tend to like to take a quick shower before I go to bed. Um, and if I'm wearing makeup, I do like to take a shower because double cleansing is so much easier to do in the shower. Although now that I have the um, Clean Skin Club towels, I could use that when I'm double cleansing. So I'll wash my hands, dry them, I'll get the cleansing oil, massage it into my skin, then I'll take the clean towel, club towels, <laughs> I'll wet that, you know, wring it out, and then I'll use that to remove the cleansing oil, 
and then I'll go in with my regular cleanser. It's a lot less messy, so you don't have like makeup dripping all over the floors and whatnot that you gotta clean up afterwards. But for the most part, I do like to do my double cleanse in the shower because I can be as messy as I wanna be in here. Now, this next part is very important, but because like it's getting a little clumsy in here, like because I had the way I had the shower curtain, the water spilled, the tripod slipping. I'm gonna take it into the bedroom where there's more room and better lighting. But when you get out the shower, you know, you pat dry very gently. But you know, you don't get the skin completely dry, dry, dry. You don't want it drenched in water, but you just want it to be a little bit damp because that is the best time to apply your moisturizer. So basically what's happening is your moisturizer is going to kind of like trap in some of that moisture from the water, some of that hydration. And it's just the best, it's the optimal time for your body to receive that moisture. Shower fresh. So clearly some time has elapsed. I did my skincare routine um, off camera, but there are a couple of vlogs, recent vlogs, like if you want to see what I typically do in the morning and in the evenings, there's a vlog for that one as well. So make sure you check that out. Now there's a lot going on in there. The bathroom's not that big for me to have the camera and the tripod and the floor got wet and the slippery, you know, to be showing you. Um, me putting moisturizer on my body, it was a little bit too much. But again, I can't stress enough Turn the water temperature down, lukewarm showers. You know, you don't have to go cold, but you definitely don't want hot. Uh, apply your moisturizer while your skin's still a little bit damp, not drenched, damp, a little damp. You towel off and there's still a little bit and you lock that in. So today I'm gonna be using the Summer Fridays um, body moisturizer. They recently sent this to me in PR. This is their Summer Skin Nourishing Body Lotion. This moisturizer, if I can get you in to see without, without seeing too much, you know what I'm saying? Now, this moisturizer has a good weight to it. It's not very thick, but it's also not very thin. I've come to learn, especially from all the body moisturizers that get sent here through PR, is that you can have a pretty thin lotion that still packs a lot of punch, because a lot of my favorite moisturizers from like Aveeno especially, or like La Roche-Posay, um, they have moisturizers that are great for dry body skin that aren't very heavy. But then, I, you know, sometimes I do enjoy a nice thick, creamy, buttery kind of feeling um, in a moisturizer. You know, sometimes in the winter, but for the summer you don't want anything that's too heavy because then you're going to sweat and it's not going to feel nice. So I'm basically <laughs> going to allow that moisturizer to sink in, give it a couple of minutes before I put my sunscreen on. Now when it comes to deodorant, I'm usually using some iteration of this Dove Advanced Care deodorant. I'll link you to a video that um, Lab Muffin did and I believe Dr. Dre, the Lab Muffin video I know I can find for sure. Dr. Dre, I'm not quite sure which video she said this in, but there's a lot of fear mongering around aluminum. I'll link it below, but I mean, we have choices. If you don't want to use aluminum in your deodorant, that's fine. That's why they, you know, make the aluminum free ones. Now, listen folks, because when it comes to skincare, right, especially for people of color, there are a lot of things that are culturally just really different for us than it is for, you know, uh, white people, right? Now, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some white people walking around with, you know, discoloration underneath their arms, right? Now, here's the thing. Now, there are things that you can do to kind of lessen the odds of you getting darker underarms. But I, I kind of want us to not go crazy about this whole one color, even color from head to toe kind of thing that some of us tend to like idolize. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? With our skin, we can be very highly prone to hyperpigmentation, right? Um, friction, dryness, a bug bite, a scratch, uh, a burn, acne, um, some sort of inflammation, um, exposure to heat, exposure to the sun. There's so many things that can cause the melanocytes to freak out and overproduce melanin, which is the discoloration that you see, right? Underneath our arms is gonna get a lot of friction. That's just the way that our arms <laughs> are attached to our bodies. So, you know, just like casually walking or even working out is causing friction in between your arms that's causing the skin to rub together. And that rubbing together can cause inflammation that can lead to 
the discoloration that you that we see underneath our arms. Now, I'm not saying this for you to go and alter <laughs> your lifestyle so that you you keep your arms like this to avoid the friction. I'm saying that because some of it's unavoidable, right? I think we should kind of chill on, um, you know, the underarm area being like this ugly thing. Like, let's, what did the kids say? Let's normalize having discolored underarms and darker knees and darker elbows and dark knuckles. But you see that? You know why that's dark? Because my legs are rubbing up against each other. That's, that's gonna happen, you know? So I'm not concerned about that because even if I did stuff to like treat it, it's just gonna, it's gonna happen again. I just make sure that I keep my skin uh, moisturized, hydrated, um, because no matter what I do, that's my, the, my eyes are just gonna keep rubbing together. That's just how they, that's just how they roll. We are uniquely colored. Like let's, let's try celebrating some of that. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Some of it can be a lot. Some of it can be avoided, but some of it is unavoidable. Now when it comes to your underarms, I think I'm gonna just do a separate video on it because I don't want this video to get too long. So stay tuned for that because we are doing a body skincare series for darker skin tones and there will be many videos to, to have in this subject area. Now it's been quite enough time for me to put my sunscreen on. Now when you're putting on a sunscreen spray, best thing to do is to spray it in your hand and then apply it to your body. And that's exactly how you want to do it with sunscreen sprays for your face. You want to spray it in your hand and then apply it to your face. Don't go directly to the face. Don't do that. Now with the body, you could spray it on the body, but then you still want to rub it in with your hands so you're not missing any spots. Now, this is a Banana Boat Hair and Scalp Defense Sunscreen, which there's a video on sunscreens for the scalp. Check that out. Um, but there's nothing in here that says that I can't use it for my body and, you know, I kind of want to use it up. <laughs> before it expires. So I'm just applying my sunscreen all over. And of course, if you have like a moisturizer and sunscreen all in one, you can kind of like, you know, kill all the steps in one. Now, a couple more things to note. When it comes to body moisturizer, um, I'm not very picky because I get sent so many of them, so I just use whatever sent my way. But typically what I look for in a body moisturizer is that it's for dry skin, because my skin on my body is drier than the skin on my face. Um, I also look for things that are fragrance free. Because the skin on my body is dry, um, I do want to kind of like pamper it. I don't want to irritate it. That this one does have fragrance in it, but it wasn't it wasn't overwhelming. Typically, I wouldn't go for something like this because of the price point, and you know, I'm just I'm just personally a miser when it comes to certain types of products. So a body moisturizer, I can find you know so many of them uh, at the drugstore level that work just fine. But if you like to spend your little coin and be a little bougie with it. This is a nice moisturizer though, I can't lie. And then to top it all off, now I haven't worn my fragrance as much because of the pandemic, but then I realized like, girl, you are playing yourself, wear your fragrance. So today I think I'm going to do, um, and there's a video of me going through my fragrance stash and you know, the best ways to apply perfume and things like that, so check that out. So I think I'm gonna do a mix today. So I think I'm gonna mix the Mason Francis Curjon Oud Satin Mood with the Guerlain, um, what's this one called? I'll put the name on the screen. It's Gourmand Coquine something or another, but I'll put the name on the screen. Now I got this mix from my good girlfriend, Felicia Walker of This That Beauty. So it's like, you got the spicy, the mood, the, the, the like almost manly kind of like scent, but I would say this is very unisex like that spicy oriental mix that I love. And then I love a good gourmand. So then you get like this nice sweet, <sighs> it's sweet, but not like sickly sweet. It's very like, like a rich sweet smell. And when you combine the two, you get like this really nice, like spicy, but sweet and gourmand gourmandy kind of scent. Put that on there. Now, I know in the past, you might've seen people kind of do like this, 
but you just spray it and let it go. I'm gonna link to a Vogue article that tells you how to apply perfume like a pro. So check that below. And that, my friends, is the shower routine. Thanks for hanging out with me. Now, this is part of a new series on the channel on body skincare. We are going to have a number of videos over time on body skincare, especially how it pertains to deeper skin tones. I've got some really cool things planned, things like getting rid of the hyperpigmentation, which we kind of covered on in this video and the last video, but we'll, you know, we'll have more, don't worry, we'll have more. I'm also going to take you with me as I get certain kinds of treatments at estheticians and dermatologists. That's down the line, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box, and I will see you, my folks, in my next video. Bye, guys.